Influencers are still a relatively new phenomenon. Some stars have had their huge followings and success, but some have fizzled out. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm your host for today, Emily, and today we're going to be counting down our list of the top 10 influencers who should realize they're not famous anymore. Coming in at number 10 is Cameron Dallas. In 2012, Cameron Dallas was a star on the rise on the app Vine that let you post 6 second videos. He was a part of the content creator group MegCon as well. When Vine shut down in 2017, Cameron secured lucrative modeling gigs with Calvin Klein and Dolce & Gabbana. He was also doing all the movie star in the making rounds. But that's where his career stopped. In 2016, Chasing Cameron Dallas, his lowly rated Netflix reality series was released and it was cancelled after just one season. Professional troubles were the least of his worries as he dealt with personal struggles since he was arrested for in January 2019. Eight months later, he revealed he had a two and a half year battle with addiction, anxiety, depression, and family trauma that included a stint in rehab. He tried rebranding himself as a confessional and extremely auto tuned singer in a series of music videos that have not exactly taken off. The size of his Instagram reach is over 25.1 million followers and makes this somewhat confusing because he has such a big audience. Number 9. Nash Greer Nash Greer was also a star on Vine and was part of the group MagCon. He turned his piercing blue eyes and boy next door good looks into some great gigs after Vine died, including a 2019 appearance on the runway for Dolce & Gabbana. Like Cameron, Nash's move to the small screen hit one minor snag. Acting is actually really hard, even if you're kinda good. Nash starred in a single season of the thriller series called The Deleted. The the show appears unaffiliated with any actual TV network and was quickly, well, deleted. Pun intended. He also starred alongside Bella Thorne in 2017's You Get Me, which has a horrible audience score. In 2019, he became a father and is now a part time video creator. His YouTube channel has 4.57 million subscribers, and while seven years ago each of his videos reached over 2 million views, he now barely reaches 200,000 views on his videos now. Number 8 Lily Singh. Lily Singh is a Canadian YouTuber. She began making YouTube videos in 2010 under the name Superwoman until 2019. In 2016 and 2017, she was included in Forbes' list of the world's highest pay YouTubers. She rose to viral YouTube fame with her widely condescending caricatures of bigots in her breakout video, A Geography Class for Racist People. Due to her fame, she became the first bisexual woman of color to land a late night talk show. NBC's A Little Late with Lily Singh debuted in September 2019 with all 96 episodes pre-recorded in a studio over a three month period. But the result was not well received, particularly from her fellow YouTubers, three of whom released scathing critiques. Now general audiences didn't embrace Lily's twist on late night either, and Teen Vogue even used her own fame making identity logic against her, dubbing her trademark shtick as problematic for being indicative of non-black people performing blackness. Number. Seven, Gabby DiMartino. Nikki and Gabby DiMartino are twins who are a duo of singers, social media influencers, YouTubers, and actresses. In December 2020, Gabby got into some hot water when she uploaded a childhood photo of herself on her OnlyFans account. The picture in question was of Gabby lifting up her skirt, and to make matters worse, Gabby added a suggestive caption to the photo and offered people to buy the content for $3. She was accused of duping her fans about the contents of her video. Now due to this OnlyFans immediately locked Gabby out of using the service stating that she violated their terms of service. Gabby initially attempted to downplay the incident as trolling, stating drama channels are trying to make something out of a childhood video of me, that's hilarious, and claiming her OnlyFans was not a sexual page, though her previous posts were sexual in nature. She later posted a one minute apology video to her YouTube channel, and she was losing success before this incident, but since then, many people 
people have stopped being fans of her. Number six, Miranda Sings. Miranda Sings is a fictional character created and portrayed by comedian, actress, singer, and YouTube personality Colleen Ballinger that first appeared on the internet in 2008. Colleen displays videos of the comically talentless, egotistical, misguided, and quirky character on Miranda's own YouTube channel. The comedy of Miranda Sings was insanely popular in the early 2010s, but comedy has moved on since then. Miranda's page would often get more than a million views, but since then it's been struggling to get at least 200,000. Miranda hasn't been posting as much due to Colleen having given birth to a son and a pair of twins. Colleen's personal channel though has still been going strong. I think it's time for Colleen to finally give up Miranda Sings as the internet and comedy have moved on. Number 5. Trisha Paytas Trisha Paytas is a YouTuber and singer. Her YouTube channel consists of a wide variety of content including lifestyle oriented vlogs, music videos, and mukbangs. As of 2022, she has accumulated roughly 5 million subscribers and 1 billion lifetime views. She is a self-identified troll who started posting videos in 2006, mainly acting as outlandish characters, but has evolved into a creator who thrives at being the center of controversy. In 2020, she co-hosted the Frenemies podcast with YouTuber Ethan Klein, a spin-off of the H3 podcast. But Trisha and Ethan had a very public falling out on the show that canceled Frenemies. She's also been in the center of many controversies, including other TikTokers. Now, Trisha has expanded her social media presence to the subscription website OnlyFans, where she's been making most of her money. She gave birth to her daughter, Malibu Barbie, in 2022 and has been posting baby content, which many seem to not like. Number four, James Charles. James Charles is a beauty YouTuber and makeup artist. While working as a local makeup artist in his hometown, he started a YouTube channel. In 2016, he became the first male brand ambassador for CoverGirl after a tweet featuring his makeup went viral online. He has released an eyeshadow palette and created a makeup line in collaboration with Morphe Cosmetics and has received numerous awards for his work on social media. His career has included multiple online controversies though, including a widely publicized feud with fellow beauty YouTuber Tati Westbrook in 2019. Tati released her Bye Sister video, which accused James of trying to manipulate men's sexualities, but James denied the accusations in his own video. In 2020, he was accused of sharing inappropriate texts and photos to underage fans. Defending himself, James said that the fans sent lewd photos and lied about their age, saying that they were 18. Over the next year, several other boys came forward claiming they talked to James when they were underage, leading him to take a few months off from content creation. Number 3. Onision James Jackson is a creator who's known online as Onision. His primary YouTube channel features sketches and satirical clips. Videos posted to his other channel focus on personal stories covering controversial subjects as well as discussions with his viewers. His online content has attracted controversy and criticism from online media outlets and viewers alike, as well as many allegations of misconduct in his private life. He has been accused of taking advantage of women and body shaming in his videos. In 2019, a video featuring his girlfriend resurfaced online. In it, he is her telling her, you know this video is never going to be online, right? No one will ever know how much I mistreat you, before throwing candy corn at her and laughing as his girlfriend cried. Now, eight years ago, his videos on YouTube would regularly reach over 1 million views, but today Today they hit only 10,000 views. Yikes. Number 2. Gabby Hanna Gabby Hanna is an internet personality and singer-songwriter. She rose to prominence on the video platforms Vine and YouTube before releasing her debut single, Out Loud, in 2017. If you don't know Gabby from her own social media page, you might know her through her association with David Dobrik and Liza Koshy as she was a part of the famous vlog squad. Gabby has had many controversies. She's been accused of stealing jokes, defending someone who took advantage of her friend, promoted a free set of makeup brushes that required customers to pay $10 for shipping, and allegedly told fellow YouTuber Trisha Paytas' then boyfriend, Jason Nash, that Trisha had an STD. Now, Gabby has spoken about her mental health struggles, and it seemed like she was going through a manic episode and posting it on TikTok for the entire world to see in August of 2022. She posted dozens of concerning clips on her TikTok account one day, and posted upwards to 50 TikToks a day for at at least three days straight. Many of the videos were about religion and seemed out of character for her and she was just incoherent. The whole situation was messy and she wouldn't accept any help, but I'm hoping things get better for her this year. And coming in at number 
one is David Dobrik. David Dobrik is an internet personality. He found early success on Vine before starting his vlog on YouTube in 2015. David is known for being the leader of the popular YouTube ensemble The Vlog Squad, which features prominently in his vlogs and comprises of his friend group. David has over 18 million subscribers on YouTube and over 7.1 billion views. He has been dubbed the king of YouTube, but recently many controversies have arisen around David's involvement with the vlog squad. This includes allegations of sexual misconduct by a member named Dirty Dom, bullying regarding racism, homophobia, ableism, and being fat phobic. He also injured former member Jeff Wittick in June 2020 in Utah while filming a stunt. David was illegally operating an excavator in a shallow lake when Jeff swung from a rope attached to the end of the excavator arm. When David started spinning the rope too fast, Jeff hit the excavator and fell into the water upside down with his foot stuck in the rope. His skull was fractured in nine places, his left eye socket was fractured, his hip and foot were broken, and ligaments in his leg were torn. In June 2022, it was revealed that David was being sued for $10 million by Jeff in relation to the accident. Before these controversies, his videos gained over 30 plus million views, but now he barely reaches 15 million. I used to be a hardcore David fan, but after everything that's happened, I cannot support him anymore. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 influencers who should realize they're not famous anymore. Are you a fan of any of these influencers? Let me know in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe. I'm your host, Emily, and I'll see you next time. Peace.